The Gaza Strip, located between Israel and Egypt, has been a recurring hotspot for the Israeli-Palestinian conflict for years. As hostilities between Israel's defense forces and the Sunni militia group Hamas flared up last year, more than 500 children were killed and some 3,000 injured in Gaza alone. Maryam Ahmed al-Masri comforts the many children as she too understands the threat of being displaced. Many children have seen their houses destroyed and witness frightening scenes of carnage. With half of the population in Gaza being children, UNICEF reports that almost 60,000 are in need of immediate psychosocial care due to the deep emotional impact of the violence. Eight-year-old Abel Majid now lays in bed at Al-Shifa Hospital in Gaza after his house was targeted by an airstrike a few months ago. When I get out of the television, I know we've been a mommy, and I'm going to get out of the house. They say they're going to get out of the house. They say they're going to get out of the house. They say they're going to get out of the house. To offer relief to both children and parents tormented by fear and anxiety, five UNICEF-supported emergency psychosocial teams operated by the Palestinian Center for Democracy and Conflict Resolution, are visiting hospitals and homes. The teams have carried out more than 400 visits, reaching some 500 refugee children. Currently, the United Nations Relief and Works Agency, UNRWA, estimates that close to 50,000 refugees, including these emotionally disturbed children, have taken shelter within UNRWA's facilities. With further support and reassurance, the lives of these distressed children in Gaza can transform from running in terror to playing in safety, something that every child deserves. This report was produced by Cassandra Boland for the United Nations.